Good morning, everybody. I apologize that I cannot be present in Las Vegas uh, in person. And I would like to thank Dr. Abu Hamid for his kind introduction and invitation to speak at this wonderful course again. In the next 30 minutes, we will review first trimester ultrasound of the fetal brain. In this presentation, I would like to review current guidelines and the sonographic techniques for detailed evaluation of the fetal brain between 11 and 14 weeks gestation. We also review normal sonographic findings, as well as the most common fetal brain anomalies, which can be diagnosed or suspected in early gestation. I have few financial disclosures, which are presented here. And we will start from the review of the current national guidelines and ultrasound tools that we have in our hands for fetal brain assessment in the first trimester. As we can see at the most recent AAM guidelines supported by the other organizations that dealing with the visualization of the fetus in pregnancy, so that the standard diagnostic obstetric ultrasound examination requires very limited assessment of the brain and technically only calvarium is mentioned that needs to be assessed within that standard guideline. But thank you to Dr. Bromley, who um, was a leader, and according to the new guideline that was published in 2020, um, we can assess uh, and perform detailed assessment of the anatomy, including the brain anatomy, in the individuals that the specific indications that make their pregnancy the high risk, which are listed here. And in this presentation, I would like to focus on the comprehensive assessment of the fetal CNS anatomy, and uh, we will um, start uh, in a few minutes. Early fetal imaging, including the brain assessment, can be achieved from transvaginal and transabdominal ultrasound. So uh, most recent development in the uh, technology that can be um, applied to the transabdominal approach allows to visualize uh, brain structures to the very sufficient quality in most cases. However, if the anomaly is suspected or if the visualization can be achieved or can be very limited abdominally, the transvaginal ultrasound can be of a lot of help 